This video is designed to be a guide. Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. While we always strive to provide accurate and detailed information, we can't guarantee that it will fix your TV's issues. Shop Jimmy is not responsible for any harm that you may cause to yourself or damage to your TV during the repair process. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Be sure to take all the proper safety precautions. In this video we will show how to replace the Toshiba V500H1-ME1-TLEM9 LED light strip bar. This can also be used as a general tutorial teaching how to replace LED strips. When replacing LED strips, you will have to remove the panel. Removing the panel can be very difficult as the panel is extremely fragile. If your TV panel is damaged during the replacement process, you will have to get a replacement TV. Before we start, I would like to say that this TV is a tester for us. There may be fewer screws in different places or missing small parts, or the TV may look different from your TV, even though they may be the exact same TV model. Some portions of this video may be shown in fast motion to help speed up the video. Also, we might not always show every single screw being removed or installed on a certain part or cover. I will start by removing the screws that hold the lower back cover on the TV and then lift the cover off. Disconnect the wires and remove the screws and two metal covers on the bottom of the chassis. Disconnect the IR sensor in the corner of the TV. Unscrew and remove the plastic cover piece on the bottom of the TV. Remove the rest of the back cover. Disconnect the LVDS cable from the scan drive boards. Use a piece of tape to hold the scan drive boards to the chassis while rotating the TV. Remove the bezel screws.
remove the bezel. Reach under and remove the tape that is holding the scan drive boards to the chassis. Carefully fold up and tape the scan drive boards to the panel. Using sheets of thin, sturdy plastic or something similar, get underneath the panel and lift it carefully to remove it from the TV. Go around the light filter and frame and loosen them both from the chassis. There may be small pieces of tape that need to be loosened or removed. Any tape that is removed should be kept so it can be reused when putting everything back together. After loosening the light filters, lift and remove them from the TV. Try and keep them tight together so they do not loosen or get out of order. Lift and remove the diffusing panel. Gently roll back the reflector sheet. Remove the tape and disconnect the power cable from the LED strip. Use a small flathead screwdriver or a 5-in-1 tool to separate the LED light strip bar from the chassis to remove it. Remove the outside of the double-sided tape that is on the replacement LED light strip bar. Line up the replacement LED light strip bar, press firmly to adhere it to the chassis. Reconnect the power cable to the LED light strip bar and put the tape back down. Lay the reflector sheet back down on the chassis. You may need an extra set of hands for this part. Lay the diffuser panel down flat and then push it firmly up against the replacement LED light strip bar on one end, then lift the other end to make it bend a little and put that end down into position on the other end of the chassis. Doing it this way is necessary because the plastic piece 
on our replacement LED light strip bar is a little bit thicker than the original. Put the light filters down and be sure they are flat on the chassis. Reconnect the pieces of tape in alignment around the filters. Using the sheets of plastic, lift the panel and put it back into place on the chassis. Remove the tape and align the scan drive boards. Reinstall the bezel. Reinstall the bezel screws. Fold the scan drive boards up and reconnect the LVDS cable. Put the back cover on the TV. Install the screws to secure the back cover. Install the bottom piece that goes over the back cover and the screws. Connect the IR sensor. Be sure to reconnect the cables and install the screws to hold the metal shields in place. Reinstall the final part of the back cover and screws to secure it to the chassis.
This video can also be used as a generic tutorial to show the process for removing and replacing an LED light strip bar.